<laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the Backbone One and why this is a really good pickup. I paid for this with my own money. This is the second one that I own. Actually, it's the third one that I own. Um, but we're going to talk about why you may want this over the portal. The Backbone second generation USB-C fits iPhones and Androids on the same device. Inside are inserts allowing this to mount different phones even with cases on them. The Backbone paperwork and a QR code for the app. The second generation PlayStation version still has the matching white and black color scheme save the orange backbone button on the right side of the grip. It lights up with the white light when the controller is active. You'll also find the same Xbox thumbstick layout but the PS buttons including the circle, cross, square, and triangle. I haven't covered this directly because I have uh, opinions on the portal. I don't think it's a bad tool. I don't think it's a bad uh, product. I think it's actually a really great product. I just think it's about two years late to the market. And because it's two years late to the market, the shortcomings are outweighing the pros for me. There's way more cons than there are pros. And so that's why the backbone may be the tool you need to buy. So let's jump into how easy it is to set it up and, and get gaming. Getting the backbone on your phone takes five seconds, and once it's on, it's on. It's there pretty good. However, there is a little bit of movement if you purposely try, but that's only due to it fitting so many phone types, and how the inserts from earlier or adding a case could make it fit snugger if you really want it to be a tighter fit. There's a lot of features on the backbone that I could focus on and I could highlight, but we're going to focus on the PlayStation focused features on here and how you can go directly to the PlayStation app, of course, because it's on your cell phone, but it's through the Backbone app. But you can also do remote play. And because remote play is powered by the PlayStation system, the experience is going to be great through the Backbone. <laughs> Gameplay on the PS Remote app is really good through Backbone. Like there's not very many issues at all. And even in fighting scenes, you don't feel like you're getting, you're, you have a delay where you're getting beat. Now, I'm playing mine on a top level, so I'm getting my ass kicked anyway, but I don't think it's due to the delay of the PlayStation Remote app. Um, and did you hear the sound? You heard that sound, right? Right? <laughs> The sound that you're hearing is from my Santana Sambas in stereo mode. Because you're not limited by the Portal's non-Bluetooth link connection, um, you can connect anything to your cell phone using this standard Bluetooth 5.3, at least that the iPhone 15 Pro Max has. And that will depend on what phone you use, but Bluetooth is an option. And the, Santana, uh, the Santanas allow me to pair two speakers at once, which gives me kind of like a stereo setup when I'm just sitting there gaming with a handheld. This is where the more affordable backbone begins to become superior. You have the option of selecting to use other services like Xbox Cloud Gaming, Xbox Remote Play, Epic Store, Steam, etc. Even GeForce Now. On the virtual rig that was selected for me, I was able to render Tomb Raider at an average of 118 frames per second and a max of 138 frames per second. This is on the iPhone 15 Pro Max's beautiful screen. I sat there and played Tomb Raider for about an hour when I was supposed to be making this video and now I'm up after midnight finishing this up to get the giveaway results to you all on time. A really flashy feature that most are unaware of is that you can also directly plug your Backbone controller into an iPad, PC, Mac, Google Chrome, etc. and use it as a controller to play games on bigger screens. 
This gives you unlimited flexibility when traveling on the go, uh, going to a friend's house, etc. You just whip out the controller from your bag, plug it into something, and in moments you're gaming. And this is as long as the device that you're plugging into has a strong internet connection. So you can use it on multiple screens as well as your cell phone. But today's video, Thanks for stopping by. Again, I'm not ragging on the portal. I think the portal is a great product. I just think that that product came out two years late and with its limitations, it's not a very good value to buy. Now, if you got extra money, then by all means, pick that thing up because I do think it's a good product. I just think compared to some other things on the market like the Logitech G Cloud for an extra hundred bucks and you can get that on sale for about 250 and different stuff like that, stuff that's going on, especially for the holidays. It just makes the portal not the best buy, not saying that it's a bad product. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I've enjoyed today's video. I look, Listen, this is still my favorite on-the-go gaming contraption. I have something coming in the future that may replace this. Um, but for now, this is still my go-to when I think about all the things you can do with this just by putting it in your pocket and taking it along. Um, without taking up any real space whatsoever. So let me know your thoughts. As always, stay cozy in that crazy world. Again, congratulations to the winners, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.